Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. Not the best pleasant evening last night for a double-A affiliate of the Philadelphia Flyers, Reading Royals, as they were not able to defend a 3-1 lead. As for them, we had goals by Pritchard, Cormier, and Bykoff, who were able to continue their success and get on the board and pot goals last night. Throws are up 3-1, though. Alex Tong was able to score two goals for them there on the other team. And then it was Blake Murray and Sam Thibault um, when it came to the Norfolk Admirals scoring. Only one goal was on veteran netminder Pat Nagel, who turned it over to Tong on the first goal. The other was a very good wrist shot by Murray. And the one by Tong just wasn't great defense on overtime. He just let him get fully down the ice and shot it. And the other was not a very good defense in front of the net as the Reading Royals turned over the puck and Pat Nagel couldn't have made a save on that one. So it was really only one of the four tallies um, you would be able to put on a netminder in this game as the Royals go down 4-3 to three and lose a game that they should have won because they were up 3-1. to one. All they had to do was defend the lead at that point, which is something they're usually pretty adept and pretty good at doing with the players on their team. Of course, they didn't have veteran, well not really a veteran, but a player that's been with them before and had success and has been having great success this year as one of the ECHL's leading scorers, Matthew Strom with them because he earned the call up and was up with the Lehigh Valley Phantoms and played good in his game up there. So hats, tips to him for being very good in his first game with the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. But that obviously not having a guy that plays a great 200-foot game like him in the system down there with the Royals for this game obviously has some effect, but it wasn't a thing that should have had an effect because they had the 3-1 to one lead. They just now couldn't have been able to defend the lead, had some bad defensive plays, let Murray just get right out to the side and fire a wrister, and then let Tong really expose them in overtime. And then the one goal, again, was just a turnover in front of the net um, that you can't really have. So this was a game that the Reading Royals just kind of started off good and then collapsed, and that's something you don't want to see, but it's something that's okay to see at this point in the season. You would rather see it now, obviously, rather than later on, for a team that when Kirill's in, when Nagel's in, when everybody's in, looks like they have a chance to be a team to compete for that Kelly Cup as the season goes on. So you would love to see a game like this early on to take it as a positive. It's a game that Nagel, I thought, other than the one goal he let him playing the puck, but that's also a benefit of his game. By the way, I'm going to link my article I wrote on Nitty Gritty about him stepping up for us early in the season due to Ursan's injury and Usti therefore being up with the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. Check that out as well as a bunch of other stuff on the Great Flyers Nitty Gritty website that we post daily on there through Jamie Bashkow, Yari Vlog, and the other brilliant people that run that site. That is a great site to check out all Flyers news from the Reading Royals to the Lehigh Valley Phantoms and, of course, our Philadelphia Flyers. This has been a reaction to the Royals' unfortunate 4-3 to loss. You got to defend the lead. They couldn't defend the lead. Honestly, in this game, Nagel let in one bad goal, but I think the team let their goaltender down as they were not able to defend the lead in this game. And that's something you don't want to see. But again, some solaces. It's better to get those games out of the way at this point of the season rather than the second half of the season when you're going to be really wanting to pushing and showing that you are one of those competitive teams competing for a good playoff run to compete for the Cup in the ECHL and potentially bring a championship to Reading in this decade. So everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been a reaction to the collapsing loss by the Reading Royals as they were not able to defend the lead and have the Norfolk Admirals come back on them due to the star player of the game, Tong, being able to score two goals, the first goal and the last goal, the decider goal, where for the Royals, I would say Bykoff um, was a star of the game. He continues to play very well. And then I would have to say, um, because he really looks solid on the ice, hasn't been as noticeable in every game, Cormier would be a star of this game as well. So this has been a reaction to the 4-3 to three loss. you got to le learn how to defend the lead and be able to defend the lead. But again, it's better to have these losses early in the season rather than later on in the season. And that's a positive to look at, especially when this Royals team has had a good start to this season, all things considered, just like our Philadelphia Flyers have. They're just coming off of a bad game 
last night that they blew the lead and of course the Flyers just were not able to get any tallies to be able to score and be able to even have any goal total to have a lead in that game. So everybody, peace out. Have a great day and pleasant day. Subscribe above at the easy to use widget or down below. This has been Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borick. Stay safe out there.